Hi everyone, this is Gleeza made with Glee. In today's video, we're going to make some art using a dollar store canvas. I've grabbed a couple brushes from my stash, but really all you need is maybe just one flat brush and a liner brush for any little details that you may want to use. You can use a sponge brush or any other brush of your choice for the background. Here I'm using, I believe it's a three quarter inch flat brush to paint on my background. I am just taking some gray paint that's watered down and um, you know just dr brushing it on and taking off the excess with a rag and when that's dry I go back over and add a little bit more shadows and details and I've shown you in a few of my other previous uh, videos how you can create different backgrounds for this farmhouse look for the planks and it's really simple and really easy to do just uh, a matter of brushing on and taking off as you need until you achieve the look that you want so it's really simple really easy to do put down your background and I'm using just a basic gray but you can use any color of your choice now you're also gonna need two shades of brown paint a darker and a lighter one but honestly, you can get away with just one shade of brown and just add more white to it to create a lighter shade. And now I'm using, I believe it's a half inch flat brush, just a slightly smaller size. And this is going to be the brush that I'm going to use for the majority of my painting. And to create a circle shape. And I just double loaded the brush, half with uh, the, the brown paint and half with white. Created the rough outline and now it's just a matter of lines. Can you draw lines? You can certainly do this. You're just going to pull the lines in uh, curved ones, straight ones to create the look of a woven grapevine, willow, whatever type of branch, twig wreath. So you're just going to go all the way around just pulling from one direction to the other and there you see I just dropped my brush. It slipped out of my hand completely and as my favorite artist Bob Ross says, it's quite okay. Happy little accidents do happen. So we're just going to work with those things. So there, yes, there is a splotch in the middle, but that's fine. We'll add some greenery and we'll work with it. It'll become a branch and a twig and, you know, that's it. And yes, there's a, a speck of dot on the side. Well, you know what? Now I decided I wanted to add dots and speckles all over my painting. So just work with your happy little accidents and don't let them bother you, which I certainly don't. So once I have a reach shape to my liking with the browns and the two shades of brown, I'm now picking up white and a darker shade of green. And again, on a chisel, which means just having your brush in a 90 degree straight angle and pulling you're putting your brush down and pulling towards you, you're going to create little pine branches. Now here's a trick. If you want it to look as if the snow is on top, have the white be on the top as you're pulling down. If you want it to look as if the snow is settled into the branches, then have the green on the top and pull downwards. So that just gives you a little variation of how you can change the look of your little pine and evergreen branches by uh, varying the direction of which you're pulling with your brush. So again, if you're pulling with the white on the top and the green on the bottom half of the brush, you'll look like the snow is on the top. And if you flip it around, it'll look as if the snow has settled and kind of melted and more of the greenery is showing. So really simple and easy to draw little lines, little strokes, pull downwards all around your wreath. You can go all the way around and have a full evergreen wreath or you can do as I'm doing and just do a partial uh, set of greenery on the bottom. And again, you saw where I dropped the brush, so we're just going to touch right there and make ourselves a little branch with where we, you know, made a mistake. We're just going to work with our mistake and make it look as if it's intentional. And once I have enough um, pine and evergreen branches to my liking, and you again can decide exactly how much or how little, how thick, again, if you want it all the way around, you have the complete freedom to make as much or as little as you would like with your greenery. Now you can always go back in and pull some brown so it shows a little bit more of the twig showing here and there. And now I'm going to take some red paint and it doesn't really matter what color red, any red, and again it doesn't matter what color green, any color green, 
with the light you can you know vary and make any shade and I am not a brand specific type person I'm not gonna recommend one brand over another to you I do have my preferences but I just want you to know that arts very accessible and anyone can do it with any uh, sorts of supplies you I mean yes we we don't we're not all professionals we don't all have to have artist quality uh, painting supplies to create something pretty for ourselves so once I draw my little berries on by just uh, using my brush and you know doing half circles I'm just adding little white highlights to the berries and here and there I'm using a little liner brush to add a few more little sprigs of greenery coming in and out and that's really simple and easy to do again you can decide you know how much or little you want how many berries if you wanted a full bunch or just a few now here to make a little sort of a pine cone what I'm doing is I'm again loading double loading my brush with both the brown and the white the brown being on the bottom and we're making uh, I guess you would call it like a um, upside down U shape you're just gonna put your brush on one side and just pull it around and that creates the pine cone look and you're gonna overlap so you're gonna start from the top and work your way to the bottom to create the look of these little tiny pine cones and then of course go back over with some green to you know hide it as if the pine cone is actually coming out from behind and then of course if you wanted to add maybe ribbons you can certainly add a ribbon you can do whatever you like now for the ribbon I'm just using the same red color with a little bit more white and just uh, making two loops and two streamers really simple and easy again anyone can do this I don't want you to be intimidated by art or think that you can't do this or it looks complicated it is not it is super easy and again anyone can do this so just pick up a brush grab a canvas from the Dollar tree and create some art with me join me like I said you don't have to have the most expensive stuff or not now here I'm just using one of my um, uh, what do you call this brush it's like uh, the one that you pounce with I'm not sure like for stencils to create speckles but if you had a toothbrush or even the end of a tiny a skinny brush you can use to create dots on your painting and again you don't even have to do that this is just completely optional but since I made a little mistake and had a splatter fall on it I decided to go with that splatter look all over my painting to give it that more rustic farmhouse feel anyway now here is a specific tool that they sell that if you are into painting that you can buy to create um, speckles all over your painting. It's a little messy and it does get all over the place but it's a really great tool especially if you do any tar uh, type of snow scenes, uh, night scenes and you want to sprinkle snow or stars in the sky, it's a great tool to have. I don't know what the name of it is though um, but definitely something that you can get. Now here I just went back in with a different shade of red because uh, some parts I felt like my berries and my ribbon blended in a little bit too much. So I'm just touching up the berries with a little bit brighter shade of red. But that's again really simple, really easy to do. Now of course you know me, I like to be a little bit of a mixed media. I like to add stickers and letters and things to my paintings. And here I'm just using these glitter snowflake stickers from the Dollar Tree. About five of them just randomly scattered on my painting. You don't have to do that, that is completely optional. If you don't want to add anything else to it, you can call it done and be done with it. Just sign it and that's it. But me I like to add extra touches so of course I made a, a little bow and now I'm just gonna hot glue that on top of it and uh, it has a little twist tie that I can hang it from if I wanted to hang it or I, of course I can just stand it up in one of those uh, cake stands and decorate with it that way so I hope you guys like my very very easy painting I hope you are not intimidated at all and I hope that you are willing to go grab a dollar store canvas and some brushes and paint and create your own work of art for this holiday season and that uh, you know you can decorate with it and of course these things that I'm doing here the berries and the snowflakes and the ribbon that's all completely optional but I do like to add the little finishing touches to my painting so again thank you all for watching please don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button I will see you in another video soon have a wonderful wonderful day everyone bye